Wait a minute, Tracy Lords dressed as a nurse, older man with sunglasses, young chauffeur, big mansion. I know where this movie is going. It's not what you think. What was that? It's Tracy Lords starring in Not <sighs> of This Earth. Welcome to the Cat Recaps channel. Maxim Payne is with you again. Today we will remember the hot beauty, adult movie actress Tracy Lords. Yeah, many guys have erased their palms. After all, videotapes with her participation flew like hot cakes. From the age of 16, Tracy began to show her charms. There were a lot of scandals connected with this. More than 100 films were seized by the FBI, but there are still as many available so far. Let's analyze her very first film after participating in adult cinema. Sit back and let's get started. I didn't want to go to heaven anyway. Not of this earth. Before I even put the DVD into the player, I knew that this movie was going to be a nuisance. The case cover says, Tracy Lords is, me not of this earth. Tracy Lords is Nadine, a nurse. I am sure it was not the first time she played a nurse. She is completely human. It would be more accurate if the tagline was, Tracy Lords is, me not underage anymore. There is also a creature depicted on the cover that does not appear in the film, even including the implausibly injected footage from Galaxy of Terror, Star Pilot, Humanoids from the Deep, and other Roger Corman films. I just spent the entire first paragraph pointing out that the cover is wildly inaccurate. Great, it is going to be one of those films. What was that? Jacking me before, and now I'm just telling you something. Nadine is assigned by Dr. Rochelle to care for a man who has a strange blood condition. Mr. Johnson's problem is that he requires regular blood transfusions to survive because his blood is breaking down. I'll see you later, Mr. Johnson. Come into the house, Jeremy. We will have a guest arriving tonight. Understand? Loud and clear, boss. So, Nadine arrives at Mr. Johnson's mansion, where she is introduced to Jeremy. Talk about a little weasel. Jeremy is a small-time crook turned full-time chauffeur and all-around flunky. By the way, that's a great-looking mole you have on your left cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Tracy Lords dressed as a nurse, older man with sunglasses, young chauffeur, big mansion. I know where this movie is going. You swim like a mermaid. You better be careful, you just might land a barracuda. Except, it doesn't. The story's focus is Mr. Johnson's real purpose on Earth, collection samples of human blood. You see, the tall and darkly dressed fellow, he looks like a Blues Brother imitator, comes from a world ravaged by nuclear war. It is a highly advanced civilization, though obviously not highly enough advanced to avoid pressing the big red button. You know, the one with, everybody dies, on it. Anyway, the Blues Brother from another planet spends a lot of his time sucking the souls out of hapless fodder. After their souls are gone, Mr. Johnson goes to work. He carries around a metal suitcase that contains an apparatus for quickly draining the blood from a victim. Somebody needs to tell the guy that the average person contains six quarts, because it looks like the vampiric alien only harvests one or two quart containers from each subject. You call that efficient? Give that machine to the Red Cross, the blood supply shortage will be over in no time. Whatever you do, do not let a lawyer get their hands on the blood sucking machine. Even if the lawyer regularly does volunteer work for the Red Cross, eventually, the civil chaos consuming Mr. Johnson's homeworld boils over into ours. I think as Mr. Johnson's nurse that it's my duty to take this glass down the lab and find out what my patient's been putting inside himself. Instead of? Instead of food. Oh. Meaning that one blonde woman, who also wears sunglasses, appears and immediately receives an unauthorized transfusion. Quite a pity that the stolen quart of blood was infected with rabies. Mr. Johnson's friend perishes from lethal acne, that's what rabies does to you, and the alien vampire resorts to desperate measures to save his blighted world. I won't watch this movie a second time. Of course, this movie smacks of cheapness. But you know, the films of that time have a certain unforgettable atmosphere. I enjoyed the beauty of Tracy Lords. And you? Write in the comments. What other video do you want to see? Thanks for watching. Maxim was with you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's going to be hot next. Bye bye. Cross my heart.